I have trashed plenty of rooms in my day, and it was always when I was hurting. A lot. Well, I am not hurting. So thank you so much for your crappy wisdom. Okay, be quiet and listen. You've lost a lot recently. Your Uncle Stuart, your dad, you almost lost JR. But trust me, you cannot fill that empty void with a guy. I'm not you. And Damon is not Ryan, or my dad, or Scott, or J. If you give yourself completely to some guy, you make your life entirely about him, your life becomes meaningless. It becomes empty, I'm telling you. God, don't be afraid to make something of yourself. You have this amazing internship opportunity in New York. It's just waiting for you. And you're going to blow it all on Damon? Yeah, I love Damon. We belong together. A job is not going to change my life. Being away from Damon is going to kill me. Oh, stop being so dramatic. This fashion house thing in New York, this is huge. This could be your dream job. And if Damon is the guy, then he'll support you. Even if that means letting you go. But I don't want him to let me go. Do not let your feelings for some guy get in the way of the hopes and the dreams that you have for yourself. If you do, I would feel really, really sorry for you. Are you sure that Opal's not gonna come parading in here with Kathy and Jenny for a tea party? So. Oh yeah, we're good to go. And you sure these cards aren't marked? Sweetheart, I don't have to stack the deck to get you naked. Don't oh. brag. Jen. What? <laughs> yeah. Unbelievable. Take it off, baby. Come on. You know you want it. OK, you are definitely Wait, hold it, in. Hold it, hold it. i got to get my thing. <laughs> OK, I'm good. Uh, I think you're enjoying this a little too much. Oh, uh, I don't know about that. Uh. <laughs> oh. Is nice. Yeah. Oh, they are very tender, mm. tasty ones. <laughs> Ow. Uh, excuse me. What are these? Nothing. Give me the. So just I have the best and I interesting to get your clothes off. What do you want? <laughs> If you hadn't been busy flirting, it's like doing all this stuff, today, you would have noticed my little sleight of hand. Sleight of hands? You want to work on a sleight of hands trick? I have a better idea. Mm -hmm. you do. I do. Mm -hmm. Get a clear off the top. <laughs> uh -oh. Caleb, good to see you. My cousin, J.R. Chandler. I've heard a lot about you. It's nice to finally meet you. How is West Virginia treating you these days? It's been a while since I've been there. I'm sure it'd be nice to visit the old homestead. <laughs> is there a problem? Why don't you have a seat? I'm thinking the Mahi Mahi looks pretty good. How about you? Erica? Palmer wanted me to safeguard his company. There is no way that he would want his pride and joy to fall into the hands of the Chandlers. You know that. OK, I'm going to put a stop to this. So tell me, why should I even consider selling my company to you? You shouldn't. Not while I'm running it. Well, unless I'm mistaken, Dorothy, and I'm not, I own the company. I can do whatever I want with it. Now, where were we? Dorothy. Palmer may have given you the company, but obviously he didn't trust you enough to run it in front of what I just overheard. I can see why. We're having a friendly meeting. Yes, this here. meeting is over now. There's no way that Cortland Electronics would ever end up in the hands of Chandler's. So tell me, what would you do with my company if I were to sell it to you? Don't ignore me. So you act like this in public, too? You like this all the time? A spoiled brat stomping her feet when she doesn't get her way? Is she always this way? Don't you dare try to insult me in public. This is humiliating and totally uncalled for. Stop the game playing, Caleb, and the taunting. This is over. This ends now. 